recovery. And you can't lift anything uh, more than 15 pounds with an inguinal hernia surgery. My roller bag weighs 45 pounds, and this is the heaviest spring travel season of my life. So uh, something happened. I had to go on the road, Tiffany, with the double inguinal hernia heel. And with my bag, it's very heavy. And uh, I had to learn to ask for help. And this was hard for me because I'm a man. <laughs> and, and I'm independent. And I'm a big shot. And I had to start asking people for help. I had to get help out of my condo to get the bag into the car for my neighbors. When I got to the airport, I had to wait for somebody who was parking their car to come to my car and take it out of the car. Otherwise, I ripped the surgery and have to get it all done again. This is not only hard for me to do, it's inconvenient for me to do. When I got on the plane, I would, I would wheel it to the, to, the, to the aisle and I would start looking for men that could help lift it into the, into the overhead. If there were no men around, I asked old ladies. <laughs> I got help from everybody, man. I got help from a six-year-old girl. And then one time, there was a leader dog in Kansas City that lent me a hand. I got help from everybody. And it was a valuable lesson to me. How many club presidents are here? Please raise your hand if you're a club president. Raise your hand if you're about to become a club president. I want to tell you something. You have to learn to ask for help. You think you're president, you think you get this power, and you got this, you know, you got this, you know, put your stamp on the presidency, and you're going to get stuff done, right? And you won't ask for help, and you're doing, making two major mistakes. The first one is you can't do it all, and the second one is if you do it all, what are you teaching your club? Then you don't need them. And that's the worst thing to teach a club, that they get, you don't need their help. You can be president by yourself, because the next president's going to hate you if you taught your club that, right? So that's what we're talking about here. So I thought we'd have some fun today, and I want to use a, uh, uh, a video to do this. So I want to tell you a story. And we're going to have this out of view, and then we tell a story, okay? So now you have to move a little bit closer than that, and we're going to set up uh, what's called a one-shot, and that means I'm not going to be directly in the center. If the subject is a little bit off left to right, it makes for a more interesting frame, right? So you're all taking pictures because you are the newspaper. I'm sure telling you how to take pictures. Are we okay on light source, Tiffany? I saw you just move. You like this better? Yeah, it looks okay, good. Okay, good. And a little off center, right? Yep. <laughs> I'm a little off center. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I'm going to tell a story. This is a signature story. It turns out stories are a very effective way to get the word out, right? So we're talking about using stories in presentations. Everybody understand where we're going with this? So we're going to turn the camera off right now, if you don't mind. And I'm going to use a 